Hi. Hiya. Right. Um, it is uh the end of July, and mm -hmm. I promised a couple of months ago mm -hmm. when I did an art journal flip through that I would do one every three months, and I was supposed to do one like the beginning of this month, but due to the pandemic and everything else, I wasn't journaling as much, and life just basically That's got in the way, didn't it? Yeah. So we have come to you mm -hmm. today to mm -hmm. continue the flip through. <laughs> so. Are we ready? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Good. I don't know how long he's going to stay here until I make him go away, but there you go. He's there so that you can see him, because if he stands next to me, he gets lost in all the butterflies. So, yeah, right. Now, where is the page, page that we want? Right. This is the page we want. So, we're going from the beginning of April. Oh, a rocket ship. Um, this was a napkin decoupage that I had to go at in my journal. Yeah. It works really, really well, it but it's... It's good to say it's time for you. No, so I'm not, we're not doing today in my bridge, that's why. Um, but you can't write over... Well, you can't write over it with fountain pen. You could probably write over it with, um, like, a ballpoint pen or something. Mm, you made a rocket Or a biro it. or something. But I'd be very, very careful if you do napkin decoupage what you write over, what you use to write over it with, because it's quite rough, and I think it would damage mm, you, some pens. You made a rocket for I me. made a rocket for you, Yes. Um, this was a challenge that I did. Um, it had to involve stars, stamping, rocket. Oh, and and words. So and, and a Santa rocket. I took a photo of Daryl and I snuggled up under his blanket. I did some um, a embossing. For me. A rocket for you. Yes, um, I was really pleased that that actually came out. This again was another napkin. I did um, a folder, not a folder, a stencil here. Uh, mandala stencil which looks a bit uh, and I'm not 100% pleased with it I put nice a napkin stuff. there there's a bit of wallpaper under here and then I put happy little moments words there so I'm, I was quite pleased how you that turned out really I me. made some stars who drew that? me what is it? it's a super team by me going a new treasure home that's a treasure map isn't it? yeah it's in where bear is we don't need to work it up um, and that's I, this when I'm was, uh, I think this was the first kit that I bought. Started subscribing to kits uh, this year, and I haven't really used them. Um, so I don't know whether it's something I'm going to keep up. I like getting the stamps, but I'm just not using the bits at the moment. That's me and my shh, swimming pool. Please, ball. shush. But this was a weekend kit, which I thought was quite good fun, um, and I, I had a lot of fun trying it. These are um, cupcake cases that I just laid out flat and stuck down. Uh, we it was a it was called weekend kit yeah so um you know weekend is here um what does that say ready for the weekend then we've got a saturday bit that, that come out somewhere else this was part of the kit basically the best part of it and i didn't realize i'd cut the fucking bit off that's, but there you go that's my swimming pool busy doing nothing <laughs> that's my neighbors a couple of doors down we were in lockdown by this point so everybody was at home and um my uh this is the the couple that are part of the band that you might have heard me speak about and he's decided or he decided at the beginning of lockdown he could do a load of jobs around the house some of them involved in directing some scaffolding and climbing up so while he's sitting there painting his partner sitting with their legs dangling over cigarette and a cup of tea <laughs> i was digging up my garden and i said to her you've got a bloody easy job she went I'm supplying the tea, so that's why I'm busy doing nothing. And that's me in my swimming pool. And then there's a picture of the cat here, and then Daryl in his pool. I was wanted to write something, though. I just couldn't think of anything to write, so I've left it. So we'll see. Yes, you and the doggy. Yep. Yeah, sh then I decided to document COVID, okay, because it's... This is my back. You know, it was... Problem. I didn't want my journal to be all about COVID for the next several months, but I did want to at least mention it, if you like. So get it out of the way. Ta -da! So on this day, this was my before when I started on my garden. Um, it's this a whole photo of the end of my garden. I basically dug it all over and put a new lawn down during COVID. This is my super drive rocket flyer. This was um, something that Daryl put together out of some Lego pieces that he had. This is a photograph that my son took of himself waiting for a new game to come out oh that's final fantasy he was waiting for final fantasy to come out and he was like oh my god it's taking so long it's taking so long could you leave things alone please i'm trying to help i had to bath the dog myself so um yeah that was uh i don't groom her myself she goes to a groomer's um simply because i have a back issue 
and the only place I can do it is to sit on the floor and that just that just causes me no end of pain. So um yeah. I miss my own candle. I'll stop it. If something you may are you gonna be quiet or do you want to leave? Okay. Fingers out of it. So yeah, so we we did a double page on that. Um I found this online and I this absolutely loved it. So I um yeah, I added that in. Yeah, I'm not isolated. I'm self isolating, I'm not ill, I just hate people. This is one of my tooth sack fall down. Daryl lost a tooth. He's just lost another tooth actually, um, a couple of days ago. So what yeah. come down the front I think that was his second tooth that he lost. Um he swallowed his first and his second, but he managed to save this one, so that was good. This was a picture of my cat and I was really, really pleased with it. And then I used my heat gun on the other side and it was ruined the photo. So there we go. I also had a little go at doing a little bit of like layering and, you know, because oh, I want to do more fingers. I want to do more art type stuff. And I have this lovely little um, bag that someone sent me. So the, the tortoise woke up to that day. Um, so yeah, I was like, spring, spring's here because the tortoise is awake. <laughs> um... This was, um, this is the don't quit. Yeah, I don't know whether you've heard of this. When things go wrong, as they sometimes will, when the road you're trudging seems all uphill, when the funds are low and the debts are high and you want to smile but you have to sigh, when care is pressing you down a bit, rest if you must but don't you quit. Life is strange with its twists and turns, as every one of us sometimes learns. And many a failure come about when he might have won and he had he stuck it out don't give up though the pace seems slow you may succeed with another blow success is failure turned inside out the silver tint of the clouds of doubt and you never can tell how close you are it may be near when it seems so far so stick to the fight when you're hardest hit what's that it's when things seem worse that you must not quit um I wanted to have a go at doing various different fonts. I love it when I see it online. Right, hang on a minute. You need to move. Why? Because you're doing my head in. Go, on. go and play your game, yeah? And Why? I'll be two minutes. Um, what's that thing with that? There's nothing for you, is what that is. Go on, off you go. Go on. Because I can't do this with you standing in front of me. I it's hurting me. Help. I know. Well, you've helped me quite a lot. Thank you very much. Um. I wanted to have a play, you know, you know when you see people, they do this like, so, and it's all letters and it looks great, and I, I, I just can't do that, so, yeah, I was going to do it, and I just couldn't fit it all in, so, yeah. Um, this was, um, right, let's have a look, Daryl doing some schoolwork, which I really, really enjoyed, so we spent our mornings doing schoolwork, I spent the evenings watching Westworld, I started a new knitting project, I love this stamp, I was like, yeah, a knitting stamp! Um, I did a YouTube live for the first time in ages. I made this little pocket here. Um, I started doing this. This was um, a vellum notepad that I had, and underneath I started cataloging like COVID stats here and here on the Isle of Wight. Um, I planted some sunflowers and some aquilegia in my garden. That's um, pretty. I've got some dread beads come through the post. That's pretty. That's pretty, isn't it? It's lovely. So yeah, they live in there. And that's my Yes, that's you doing homework. Get out of the way. This was a postcard that I received from Las Vegas and I was just like that is so shiny. So so shiny. Um That's me eating some popcorn. That's you eating popcorn, isn't it? Um this was a little hidden pocket I did with a little tag. Again, it was um this was UK this time. This is 103,093 confirmed cases and 14,576 deaths in the UK. Ooh birdie that's why i made a nice little tuck spot for that um i um started listening to a new author this was um carol wire um a while ago and this was the first in a new series that i was listening to that's like it. um we had we had a movie evening where daryl ate popcorn so he didn't eat a lot though he's not that keen on popcorn no um, That's my daughter and her partner, uh, well you all know if you were in that particular live, got engaged because Rob came to my house, I was live online and asked my permission to ask Callie to marry him, which was like, oh, 
And then this day um, she said, could I go down and do an engagement photo shoot? So I'd stuck this little love in the air. And these are some photos that I took. It's Daryl running about with the dog. It's summertime. It's Daryl having a drink. So we had a really, really nice day. Do you know what I mean? Shh, you need to be quiet. Thank you. A couple more postcards that I received in the post. Um, oh, we painted our toenails outside, didn't we? Ducky. Yeah, we painted our toenails and the dog had a sunbathe. Um, we were the up to... Isla White stats was 82 cases, 21 recoveries, 19 deaths. And that's me stroking the cat. And that's you stroking the cat. So, yeah. Now, a couple more. Um, but I love this postcard. I just think it's beautiful. And then there was one of Belarus. Um, I made a massive pasta bolognese. And um, we had, oh, I made egg mayo for lunch and I loved it. I was like, yum. Homemade egg mayo. Brilliant stuff. Um, so, yeah, this this is mostly a food, you know. <laughs> this was a food post, really. You made so, a diamond heart for made me. a lovely heart, didn't we? Then I got um, a couple more postcards and um, some happy mail off of April. <laughs> Um, it rained for the first time in ages. I did these cute little um, Insta type stickers. Mommy. We were up to uh, 27 deaths on the island by that point. So I didn't keep documenting, I, I didn't document for very long. Um, <laughs> I, I had a go, I did another um, a book review. But I couldn't write on the paper because I'd embossed it. While, and while it looks absolutely fantastic, it was a big waste of space. <laughs> um, I had real, real trouble with it. I got a couple more postcards, another glittery one, and one from Maine, which I was so excited to receive because Stephen King lives in Maine, and I'm a huge Stephen King fan. Um, yeah, so I received three postcards that day. Dog's having a mad five minutes, sorry about that. Um, yeah, this ended up being a double page spread. And of course, we got a Star Wars day, and I received a few dread beads. Um, oh, what's a shiny postcard? That's a shiny, shiny postcard. <laughs> then I received a card from Mary. I it all got goes one in here, too. you guys. This was supposed to be a tuck spot, but due to the thickness of the journal, it sits up more than it tucks, which was a bit of a, a bit of a to do. These were basically this is what we received from the government regarding COVID here in the UK and how to protect ourselves and all that lot. Then, um, <laughs> this, this, is my, this is across the road, okay, outside the main road. This is his friend's family. He goes to school with this little boy across the road. And one afternoon, I... <coughs> oh, shut up! <laughs> leave her alone! I actually bark at you to tell her to leave her alone. Um, and I was mowing the lawn, and I went outside to put the grass... Dara, what did I just say? I'm just... Okay, what did I just say? Right. I went outside to put the grass cuttings in the bin and they were in the front garden doing a barbecue. And as I went outside, Mich Michelle, the boy's mum, gave me a shout. She was like, do you want a burger? <laughs> you what? She do you want a burger? And I said, um, and she said, all proceeds go towards the NHS. That's our medical system here in the UK. And I was like, yeah, fuck it. So I called Daryl up and we went and stood. We sat on their garden wall. So we maintained social distancing and had a burger and a hot dog over at Blake's, didn't we? Yeah. So that was good fun. <laughs> I was having a hot and, um, dog. Yeah, you had a hot dog. And I came home and grabbed some money and went and chucked it in there. I don't know that they made a lot. And I don't know that many people actually went because you know, that was when people were still really, really scared. Um, but it was it was good. I really enjoyed it. It was good fun. And I just thought that, do you know what? That was so cool that they did that. Um... Oh, we got Isis' new stroller, didn't we? Yeah. My poor baby, she's and getting old and she doesn't really like to walk very far. Yeah. So, um, I bought her a new stroller. <laughs> and um, she loves it. She loves being in it. She loves being able to see. She thinks it's brilliant. Um, I also walked to the white. I did not go out and walk to the white. I walked to the white at home. And um, I did it all in a day, and I, I did it. I did the entire Walk the White standing here in front of my computer. It was... I was exhausted. I was surprised, actually, because I got up the next day, and I was fine. <gasps> Excuse me. Oh. <sighs> Sorry about that. 
yeah, I was absolutely fine. I thought I was going to get up the next day and my feet aren't going to work. Do you know what I mean? My legs are going to, uh, and I'm not going to be able to move. But no, I was good. Um, yeah, I woke up at six. I came down. I had a cup of tea and relaxed for an hour. By 7 a.m., I was dressed and stepping. And um, I literally didn't stop. I stepped all day long. Um, the longest I sat down for was to eat a sandwich at lunchtime. And That's I enough. stepped until 10 p.m. It took me that long. I'm not very fast. So, yeah, it took me all of that time to actually to do it. And this was all my walk the white paperwork. And I did get a medal, which they sent me through the post. And I don't know where it is. It's over here somewhere. Um, so, yeah, I've actually I've got a medal as well. No, not that medal. That they send you for doing it. Another map that Daryl drew. That was you on me, but you just cut it out. Um, this was, um, we just went out for a beautiful day, it was a gorgeous day, and that's uh, we met up with the boys, you know, had a really, really nice day. I received this really lovely postcard and I was so bummed because it got damaged going through one of the machines at the post office. Um, oh. it came from the States by the look of things and yeah, either theirs or our machines ruined it and I was really gutted, but you know, what can you do? So yeah, we had a really nice day out that day. Um, this day was, oh, this is Daryl doing some maths. Um, oh, he's got some flashcards and some marbles and we sit and we, we do some counting, which is really, really good fun. Um, I've got a Chinese takeaway that night. Another postcard, look how sweet that is. <sighs> I, had to, I had to sew this because I couldn't figure out how to maneuver my entire book around the, um, and the same machine. I've decided in the next book I make, I will not be binding the pages until the book's finished, <laughs> so that I can do sewing on them for texture. Um, we were up to 53 days of lockdown by this point, and this is where it starts to really taper off because it's just like, well, we're not doing anything. So, um, yeah, on the Isle of Wight, we were at 177 cases, 47 deaths, but 25 okay. recovered. No. Um, That's a spider stick I yeah, gave Yeah, it's a you. spider sticker you gave me. Um, we went out for a little walk That's um, down to the supermarket and um, I bought outdoor uh, Gerbera. We had huggles and yeah, just just had a nice day really. And that's a Lego piece you broke off. Yeah, that was a Lego piece, wasn't it? This was another postcard from Mrs. Zippy. The, um, I bought Daryl Lego in the end um, during lockdown oh, because he had like two kits. He had a Batman kit and a Spider-Man kit. Uh, and I'm talking like little kits that you pay five pounds for. And he loved them. And he was getting to the point where he was combining them to make other things. I, so, I um, have three boxes and a whole lot of Lego. You do have a lot of Lego. So I bought a box of Lego thinking that it's going to come, there's going to be tons in it, right? The box when it turned out was massive. When you open it and look inside, it's like when you buy a bag of crisps or chips, as you call them in the States. You know, you get this bag that's like, you know, this big. And then when you open it, only that much has got crisps in it because the rest of it is full of air. That's what buying Lego's like. It was so annoying. But anyway, I bought it um, and, and he was so chuffed. I got another dread bead. We Actually, made some... That um, my bike kind of got head apart. That's all right. We can always make it again. That's a good point about Lego, isn't it? Um, you can it's make a not, camera, you can make a motorbike, you can make all these different things. Um, um, I kind of broke the camera too. The camera got broke by me. The that. fence was finished on this day. I had my fence done last year and, and it never got finished and I was so pissed off. And it finally got finished on this day, which was great. And then the guys came back at a later date to yeah. fix my gate for me a couple of weeks ago as well, which is cool. Um... That's that was just a little collage that I had to go out making. I quite it was quite quite good fun making that. It's not a tag or anything. It's not a lifty bit. Um, yeah, we had a, a, another day at home. That's me and the cat. Um, That's the part with me and yeah, the cat. Yeah, she was loving getting fusses. Um, she came in. He was sitting eating lunch, watching the TV. She came in, scoffed her face, and literally just went in and plonked herself next to him. He absent-mindedly turned around, you know, reached around to fuss her, and she just went, "Yeah, this is so cool." And I just had to, I had to, yeah, I had to take a picture. And then, I'm kind of getting 
No, I'll get some lunch in a minute. We're going to get down the road. That's me. Yeah. Shh. That's so we went out for a walk on this day. Um, we went all down along the seafront because we were we were allowed to go out and take exercise. Um, we just weren't allowed to mingle with other people. So um, I got all the pictures. That was a photo of us in the morning, and I then I told all had that. a go at uh, doing various different tags and embellishments and, and all that lot. Me, you need to be quiet, please. That's very disconcerting having I you gabbling in the back. No, you need to be quiet. All right. Having two people talking at once is not good. I don't know how my head is. Like um, yeah, we went out. We had a look around. Dog loved it. Uh, Chinese takeaway. And then I used my heat gun and ruined the receipt. Oh, it's away. Um, oh, this is Romeo. Um, Romeo is my number one fan. Romeo lives in Tennessee with his mum, April, and his nana, Mary. And when I do my videos, Romeo comes to watch. When April does her videos, she tells Romeo that I'm in chat and he comes to sit in the middle of her camera view um, and he reaches up to love the camera and kiss the camera when she tells him I'm in chat, which is it's just so cute. So yeah, he's, he's my number one fan. Um, yeah, we had a at home in our PJs day, which was really good fun. Um, another postcard, Kyle, Daryl and I went out for a walk. Uh, we're watching Arrow on the TV at the moment. Um, oh, I sent I sent a postcard to somebody for her boyfriend, and she sent me this card back in return. I did the rocket ship again just because it's such a cool set. Um, the wrestling promotion that my son is in, the guy who runs it, basically turned around and said to all the wrestlers during lockdown, "Right, we're not wrestling at the moment because we weren't allowed to." Um, you either need to make an original song for your entrance music or you need to get permission for the music that you are using. Alex contacted the people who wrote the song that he was he was using, never heard back. So he started to look at alternatives and he found this song called Fires Fade and it was used in a, I think it was used as a promotional video for uh, The Witcher one of the witch games and he sent an email to the to one of the band members and he said look um i'm a wrestler for a small brand in england called outcast pro wrestling the owner of the brand has asked that i get an original song made or obtain permission for a song to use as my entrance theme as my current one is copywritten and may not be suitable a song you make called fires fade featuring sham would work well for my character blah blah i don't have the rest of that email you know so that I, I, please may i have permission to use it and almost immediately he heard back, he wrote uh, this on 25th of May, 8.56. By quarter past nine, he'd had a response saying, hi, Zander, yep, that's absolutely fine. You can use Fire's Fade for your intro. Best of luck. <gasps> I don't know who's more excited. Him, when he heard back, or like, he sent it to me immediately and he was like, I've got an official theme, I have permission. And I was like, oh my God, that is so, so cool. So of course I had to document it. You have to document it, don't you? So yeah, that's gone in here. Um, I wrote a little bit about lockdown. Um, it was slowly being lifted by this point. Um, I received this postcard, which I thought was hysterical. Um, I wrote a, a letter to Stuart there. That's what that is. So, yeah. Where are we up to now? We are in June. So we get to the end of June, and then that'll be it. <laughs> just, just so I do. Um, this was also the day after the first anniversary. Um, I didn't do anything for the fifth. I didn't do anything for that whole week. Um, this was the day after, and his brother posted this picture, and it was one that I didn't have. Um, it was a hell of a shock actually. I was scrolling through Facebook and just this picture of Stuart. So yeah, so that was a little letter that I wrote to Stuart. Um, this was my oh this was the day that i received my walk the white medal um and um we bought my second son uh, a voucher because he wants to get a tattoo I'm, done I'm so um so right. we bought a um there's a line here yeah why have you taken the back off of that i was just trying to find that oh, that's... you're gonna break it if you keep doing that okay Leave it alone. I just want to see that um, Yeah, so this was uh, the business card of the guy who did the tattoo. I did a little sort of collage type thing there. Um, 
I bought an electric toothbrush. <laughs> nice white teeth. Um, we got another Kimbo's. Um, I did a little collage on a mandala stamp that I'd received. I did a bit of um, stenciling, you know, just trying to make the pages a bit more interesting when I, all I, if I only do writing. So yeah, um, my son's birthday. Yeah, he was uh, 27. <laughs> I have to think about that. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, you even wrote it down. Look, Matt is 27. When did that happen? Um, this is a photo of him and Daryl looking on his phone and this was after a few drinks Alex sitting on Arnie's lap telling him because he decided that Arnie was like Father Christmas so he decided to sit and tell Arnie what he wanted for Christmas that's what happens when you give my son too much alcohol um yeah then Cookie. a friend of Alex's who works over at the shop Turned up with an entire bag of Lego. Who's his name again? Zach. Zach! He gave me all that Lego. He gave him, like, I'm talking a massive, massive bag of Lego. I had to go and buy another box because it didn't fit in his little box that I'd bought him. He, like, you know, more than quadrupled the amount of Lego he suddenly had. It's everywhere. Lego There's everywhere. Star Wars. And one of his bad guys. Yeah, um, I love these biscuits. These biscuits are so nom. Um, really my birthday, them. yeah, my birthday, and my kids bought me a Kindle. Um, I stopped reading it's years and years and years ago because I just didn't have the time. Yeah, especially not with uh, another by another child. Um, but as he's getting older and he's becoming yeah. more yeah. Um, independent, Sorry. there are times when I can sit and actually read. Um, so I said um, to the children, I'm talking, I said to the children, you know, I'd really, really love it if you guys clubbed together and got me Kindle. So they didn't get me the cheapest baker stick one, they got the next one up, which was really, really cool. So I've got a Kindle paper white, and um, it's waterproof, and like, which means I can read in the bath, which is great. <laughs> Not that I do that often, but you know, every now and then it's cool, isn't it? Um, and yeah, really so really I had a really, really, again. really nice day. It was lovely. Um, I went down the road, my son cooked uh, roast dinner. Um, yeah, we just, yeah. I think this is probably the first time as well in 13 odd years that I haven't posted a photo of my dad in my diary because my father died on my 32nd birthday and um, we, memory, we remember him every year, you know, I'm, I miss him a lot, you know, and I think my kids would do if they could remember him really well. Um, but yeah, I think it's probably the first year I haven't put a photo of my dad in here. So yeah, it was a bit weird not to do that. But I did the next day because I was looking for photos. I did a, a review for another one of Carol's books. And um, I was looking for photos of my dad. Or I was looking through, no, I was looking through small photos. And I came across this one. And I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. He looks just like Matthew. So I pulled up another photo. I was like, Jesus. And I sent these two photos to my family group chat and my daughter immediately came back she was like, holy shit, that looks like Matthew. And I said, yeah, I know. So I had to put a comparison photo in, especially as in this one, my dad's wearing whites, my son's a chef. And it was just like, wow. The resemblance between my children and my dad is uncanny. I've got, a, somewhere I've got a photograph of Alex that yeah. I took of Alex's yeah. passport photo. It's Shh. Shush. Mm. And um, when he showed me his passport photo, I sat there and I was like, I've seen that photo somewhere before. It's either his passport or his licence. I've seen that picture before. And then I remembered, and it is the spit of my dad's army ID. <laughs> and I remember showing that to the rest of the family and everybody going, bloody hell, you know. But I didn't realise until this point how much like my dad, Matthew, looked as well. So, yeah, that's quite good. Um, I received some posts from Australia. I bought a new pop socket for my phone. Um, we like apple pies. Do we like apple pies? We love apple pies, yeah. And some, somebody also sent me lemon drizzle Kit Kat. Those are delicious. Absolutely delicious. I bought a new kettle. <laughs> my tortoise laid eggs. Yeah, she laid eggs, which was like, ah! Oh! That's and, me. Um, and my snake shed, didn't she? 
and that's it was like me. twice the length of Daryl. That's me in your bed. Is that that's no? That's you in Matthew's bed. No. That is. Um, that's you in your bed, and you in Matthew's bed. Um, <laughs> yeah, we went down the road, and um, <laughs> Daryl went to sit and watch TV on his brother's sofa. And then that night, Daryl cogged out and. Yeah, there's bee on a flower, and then I just put some washi in to decorate it, really. So, yeah. I had I spent weeks having this major, major craving for Black Forest Ghetto. And you just don't get proper Black Forest Ghetto here in England. It's not like it is in Germany. Black Forest Ghetto in Germany is like... Just, no, it just dissolves, it's gorgeous. But, you know... It was the best I could do, so I got that. I received some happy mail from Jolyn, and she sent me these two little cards in, which was lovely. And I just made that into a tuck spot. I used um, a post uh, box sticker there as well, which was good. And she said, uh, uh, there was some washi tape in there, so I stuck that in as well. Did a bit of gardening. Um, that is stuck down, it's not a liftable one. Um, yeah, I just wanted to, I, I got out and, you know, did a load of weed and weeding and all that lot. I don't garden very often, so it's one of those things that I do it and it's a huge thing. Oh, this is the page that makes me sad. So sad. I am a big Undertaker fan. I remember his debut. I sat and watched his debut and it was amazing. And I've always loved The Undertaker, whether he's been a good guy or a bad guy. I just think he's brilliant. He's amazing. And um, he's retired. Absolutely got it. Yeah. So I had to put a picture of him in, really. Um, yeah. Years and years, 30 years, Undertaker's been wrestling for, and I've watched pretty much all of them at some point. So, yeah, I was gutted that he chose to retire, but it's, it is overdue, really. You know, I mean, the guy is 55 years old, but, yeah. So there we go, that is it, that is my journal up until the end of June, um, I've got some nice, nice it's getting, yeah, it's, 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 she's getting chunky, she's getting chunky, look at that, oh my word. So the next one is going to be at the end of September, um, we're not there yet, <laughs> we're at the end of July, but we're getting there, so that's it, um, hi. Are you sulking now because I made you go away? <laughs> yeah. Hope you enjoyed this little flip through of my... I don't know, what would you call it? Is it an art journal? Is it an omni journal? Flip through. A flip through. It's a flip through. Right, there you go. It's a flip through. Okay. Um, I've started calling it my omni journal because it sort of holds everything. doesn't hold my planner, but it does hold, you know... It's got my life in it, hasn't it really? One is for planning my life, which is this one. So all my appointments and everything are in that oh, one. And this, this one is ow, 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 my hand doesn't go that way. And this one documents my life, I guess, I suppose, if that's, that's how you want to do it. Mary Poppins one. That's not a Mary Poppins, is it? That's a moon. It's a nice golden moon. For anybody who's interested, I bought this on Etsy from a shop called Elrahir Leather. Um, she's in Wales and um, yeah, it's be beautiful, beautiful cover, <laughs> nice and basic. I like this side. So yeah, um, there you go. Thank you so, so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. Uh, right, what, what what do we need? I want you to say yeah, it. Yeah, I've got because we're grumpy. Say it. But you're being grumpy. Say it. You've got grumpy. Say well, Why can't you say it? I didn't get to help. Look at the curl. Oh, you didn't get to help, so you're not helping now. Is that what? Is that what that is? Oh, okay. But you helped at the beginning. If you didn't let me help every time. <laughs> Why my trolley? Right. Okay. So yeah. Um, please feel free to leave a thumbs up because we like thumbs up. Uh, don't forget, we also love comments and kisses. Kisses are important. Leave us kisses down below. Click the book down in the bottom right hand corner. Hit the bell. You will be subscribed and if you hit the bell. I want to say the You'll bell. be notified when we upload new content. Thank you so, so much for joining us today. We really, really appreciate it. Even him, he appreciates it. Don't ya? 
and uh, I'll see you next time. Take it easy, guys. Bye. <laughs>